It's now been a little more than 24 hours since that racist photo surfaced. The photo found on Governor Northam's page in his 1984 EVMS yearbook. Since then, he's apologized for appearing in that photo. Then today in Richmond, the governor says he's not in that picture. The governor's attempt at damage control by most accounts is falling short. Within the past 90 minutes, Attorney General Mark Herring and North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper called on the governor to resign. The NAACP also doubling down on their call for Governor Northam to step down. Here's how we're breaking down this story. Dan Kennedy has the conversation online. Adriana de Alba has reaction from the campus of EVMS, but we begin with Jacqueline Lee, who was at the governor's press conference in Richmond. David, during that press conference, I asked the governor directly, does he feel like he's putting Virginia first by holding on to his position as governor? He said this is time to talk through this. It's time to have some candid conversations about race, and he said he is not resigning. In his first press appearance since the political scandal erupted, Governor Ralph Northam said prior to Friday he had never even seen the photo, drawing anger and condemnation from constituents and top leaders across the country. That was clearly racist and offensive. After apologizing yesterday for being in the photo, today Governor Northam walked it back. He said there's no way he could have been in the photo because he learned from a previous mistake he made in 1984. I did participate in a dance contest in San Antonio in which I darkened my face as part of a Michael Jackson costume. Leader of the Virginia Legislative Black Caucus delegate Lamont Bagby said Northam missed the mark and amplified the call for the governor to resign. His, his, his frame of thinking is still, it was okay to be Michael Jackson. I don't think it's okay to be Michael Jackson blackface, nor do I think it's fair to be uh, blackface uh, as Klu Klux Klan, next to a Ku Klux Klan member. Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax refusing to take a position. He wouldn't answer whether or not the governor should step down. Do you believe that Governor Northam needs to resign? I mean, what exactly, how exactly do you feel? You know, we just put out a statement and, uh, you know, indicated uh, our belief that obviously the pictures were uh, racist and, and vile and abhorrent. Protesters say resignation is the only option. If it's acceptable for him to do it, um, that's going to speak volumes uh, for those who support and, you know, uh, white nationalists and white supremacy. Adding it's the only way Virginia can heal and move forward. And I just got off the phone with the Senate Republican Caucus Communications Director, and I asked him, do Republicans feel that this offense is high enough that they would constitutionally want to remove Governor Northam from office if Governor Northam refuses to step down? He said it's too premature at this point in time. Live in Richmond, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now. All right, our team coverage brings us back to Norfolk. 13 News Now reporter Adriana D'Alba is live where this political firestorm all started, the campus of EVMS. Hi, David. We had a chance to spend some time in the EVMS library to take a closer look at this yearbook and try to figure out how a picture like this would even end up getting published. Today, the president of EVMS says he is calling for an urgent meeting between board members, faculty and students to further talk about the issue. We tried asking current EVMS students today for their thoughts on this. Several of them actually told us school faculty specifically instructed them not to speak to media on the matter. Earlier today, the president of EVMS breaking his silence with this statement, quote, we share the outrage, alarm and sadness regarding the picture published in the 1984 student yearbook. The picture is shockingly abhorrent and absolutely antithetical to the principles, morals and values we hold. We cannot change the events of the past, but we can use these events as reminders of the importance of our ongoing work toward diversity and inclusion. And let me just say this, the picture of on Governor Northam's yearbook page wasn't the only one we saw of students students in blackface. That's something else school leaders haven't yet addressed. We're live in Norfolk. Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now. The Virginia Black Caucus is again calling on Governor Northam to resign in a statement they say, quote, our confidence in his ability to govern 
for over 8 million Virginians has been eviscerated. That's not the only group calling for the governor to step down. 13 News Now anchor Dan Kennedy joins us with Reaction Online. Well, David, if Northam resigns or is impeached, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax would become the next governor. Fairfax had been silent on the matter until this afternoon when he issued a statement that neither asked for Governor Northam's resignation nor outwardly supported him staying in office. Instead, Fairfax said, quote, at this critical and defining moment in the history of Virginia and this nation, we need leaders with the ability to unite and help us rise to the better angels of our nature. Meanwhile, I also need to let you know that Attorney General General Mark Herring has said in an email, it's time for Northam to step down. Herring said he talked with Fairfax, gave him his complete support and commitment should he become governor. Now, Northam has also lost the support of the Virginia House Democrats. They said in a statement today, quote, regardless of the governor's account of whether or not he was in the photo, he has lost the trust of constituents and elected officials. We're also hearing from the NAACP in a tweet saying, we are deeply disappointed in the governor's failure to take accountability today using shoe polish on his face in any form to mimic Michael Jackson showcases his lack of awareness of the discrimination against black people. Also, the Virginia Legislative Black Caucus, as you just mentioned, David, calling for his resignation. And finally, we need to let you, let, let you know about North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, who has issued a statement on Twitter calling the photo reprehensible and saying resignation is the only way forward.